the first question asked me to discuss why is internet safety so important and what is your role as an educator in teaching internet safety to your students? Um, internet safety is important because um, in today's world, pretty much everybody uses the internet, um, but there are a lot of dangers behind it because um, it is so easy for people to be found um, just from what device they're using to access the internet or what emails they're using to communicate with people. Um, or it's important to um, avoid stranger danger. Um, it's important to know um, what pop-up ads not to click on or who to avoid communicating with. And as an educator, um, it is crucial for me to be able to teach my students um, what to look out for in terms of um, internet dangers. Um, and that leads me into the second question. What were your thoughts after exploring the NetSmarts website? I would use NetSmarts for my kindergarten class um, most definitely because I loved all of the videos. They were really relatable to real life. Um, and they were very applicable and what young kids might come into contact with um, outside in, in school kindergartners won't be using um, devices that much without um, like an adult supervision but I can't I don't know what they do at home a lot of um, young kids at home have um, iPads or their own phones and so um, all of the videos on NetSmarts were great because they were like real life situations that the kindergartners could, could come across while using an iPad um, and surfing the internet. And um, they were just uh, super kid friendly. And I think that they will teach the kids um, what they need to be aware of while being online. And then it says, do you feel the training program is relevant and useful for all educators? Um, I'm not going to go so far as to say that that training program is relevant and useful for all educators. I will so say that a training program most definitely is. That was a good program. Um, I learned a lot of things that maybe I hadn't. I um, became a little bit more informed on um, internet safety, and I did like it, and I do think that um, all school personnel should have to go through some sort of training like that to um, be able to address issues that they come across with online um, or how to teach students to um, not put themselves in situations that are harder to back out of online. Um, and then it also says to reflect on the main points described in the youth safety article. Um, the article covered a lot of information. It covered parental guidance and cyberbullying. Um, cyberbullying was one of its main points, and um, what it um, described was how there is a lot of discrepancy in the term cyberbullying. What is it? Um, should we even use bullying, or should we use the word victimization? Um, I thought that was interesting because to me, I always thought cyberbullying was like pretty cut and dry. It's just being mean to people online. But then I thought about like my own life um, and how when I'm online, maybe I'll get like a, a little bit of like a dispute or an argument over um, like a political um, article that's been shared and how like it is one thing to have like a difference of opinion um, than it is to like demean um, or belittle somebody because of their difference of opinion. And so um, that's kind of uh, where the question of what is cyberbullying comes into play. And I think as a teacher, I do need to um, teach my students the difference of it is okay to um, not agree with somebody all the time, but it is not okay to um, be hateful to somebody because they disagree with you. Um, and then that also um, brings up another point. The article said here in the parental perception of youth safety online section that 42% of parents surveyed by the Family Online Safety Institute felt their child was very safe online. Um, to me, that's just completely ignorant because 
children are not safe online, adults aren't even safe online. I know that numerous times I have um, gotten sucked into some like big scam that I never wanted to be a part of because somebody else got sucked into it. And so they sent me like somebody hacked their account, they sent me a link, the link looked interesting to me, I clicked on it and now somebody hacked my account. Um, or another thing is, um, I put my email into pretty much any website that I buy anything off of. Um, a lot of that isn't good because I can get emails. It, it is so easy for people to find my email and to contact me and stuff like this has actually happened to people that I know is they put their um, email out. And then like, I had a friend from work that actually had somebody find her email um, because he was like a hacker and he started, um, like stalking her at work. And so it's just, I just don't think anybody is safe online at all. And also like with all the pop-up ads that come up, I might just be trying to scroll through an article and all of a sudden I click on something that I didn't mean to. And it leads me to some website that I as an adult don't even want to see, but something that like children definitely shouldn't see. So I just think that um, that's just, that's just not smart for parents to think that way. And I, I do want to educate my students on the risk involved with using the internet to, um, prevent them being harmed in any way or, um, having somebody that, um, stalks them or sends them like unsolicited photo photos or, um, being like stolen from, like I mentioned earlier, putting in like a bank account, um, number or just anything like that, or just seeing things that they shouldn't see, or communicating with somebody that, like, um, comes across as, like, a kid, somebody that's friendly, and then they're not, just things like that. There's just a lot to know, so anyway.